Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Many helicopters today are aging and reaching the end of their service lives. Replacing these helicopters with newer, more efficient models will help to reduce costs and improve safety. Also, new technologies are emerging that can be used to improve helicopter performance, efficiency, and help make helicopters more versatile and cost-effective. The MH6 Little Bird is a light utility helicopter used by the United States Army for reconnaissance, observation, and special operations support. Derived from the OH-6A Cayuse helicopter, the MH-6 has been in service since the 1960s and is the oldest helicopter in the Army's inventory. The Army began development of the FARA program in 2013. The goal of the FARA program is to develop a new class of helicopters that is faster, more maneuverable, and more survivable than the MH6. It has awarded several contracts to develop FARA prototypes that are currently being tested and evaluated. The Sikorsky X-2 technology is a suite of technologies developed by Sikorsky Aircraft that aims to improve the performance and capabilities of helicopters significantly. The X-2 employs counter-rotating coaxial rotors, eliminating the need for a tail rotor and reducing drag, leading to an improved speed and maneuverability. It also utilizes an integrated drive system that optimizes power transmission from the engines to the rotors, improving efficiency and reducing fuel consumption. We chartered the X2 team to do just that, to achieve the impossible by doubling the speed of a helicopter with unprecedented performance and maneuverability. The Sikorsky S-97 Raider is a high-speed, compound helicopter developed by Sikorsky Aircraft for the United States Army's Future Vertical Lift Program. It employs the Advancing Blade concept, a unique rotor system that features two coaxial rotors rotating in opposite directions. This design eliminates the need for a tail rotor, reducing drag and improving speed and maneuverability. Its advanced fly-by-wire controls provide exceptional maneuverability, making the Raider suitable for low altitude and confined space operations. The Raider and Defiant Formation flights demonstrations were a series of events held in 2020 to showcase the capabilities of the Sikorsky S-97 Raider and Sikorsky Boeing Defiant helicopters. Such demonstrations showcase the ability of the two helicopters to fly together in close formation. demonstrating their compatibility and interoperability. They also provided valuable data on the performance of the Raider and Defiant helicopters, including their speed, maneuverability, and range. Finally, 
It demonstrated the progress that has been made in developing next-generation helicopters and showcased the potential of these helicopters. The Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant was the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program. In 2013, Sikorsky and Boeing teamed up to develop a joint entry for the FVL program. With Sikorsky responsible for the helicopter's design and Boeing responsible for the propulsion system. The program aimed to develop two types of helicopters. The future attack reconnaissance aircraft and the future long-range assault aircraft. The team proposed the SB-1 Defiant a compound helicopter with a coaxial rotor configuration and a pusher propeller. It features a unique design that aims to address the inherent limitations of traditional helicopter designs. The coaxial rotor configuration eliminates the need for a tail rotor. reducing drag and improving speed and maneuverability. The future vertical lift program for the Army, they're looking at redefining what is the art of the possible. We're looking at bringing the digital thread, bringing advanced manufacturing capability, bringing data usage to the customer to help really make sure that we're bringing the full breadth of Lockheed Martin to the solution. The Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant a compound helicopter designed for the United States Army's future long-range assault aircraft program underwent extensive testing to evaluate its performance and capabilities. The SB-1 achieved speeds of over 247 knots, making it one of the fastest helicopters in the world. It demonstrated a range of over 300 miles and showcased the ability to carry a payload of over 4,000 pounds, meeting the FLIRAS program's payload requirements. The Defiant X's ability to perform low-level flights, typically between 50 and 100 feet above the ground, offers several advantages for military operations. It makes the helicopter more difficult to detect and track by enemy radar and visual observation, enhancing its survivability and allowing it to utilize terrain features, such as hills and valleys, to mask its movement and avoid detection. Also, the Defiant's ability to land in confined areas, such as narrow landing zones or urban environments, is crucial for various military missions. In one notable test, the helicopter performed a near vertical drop from 236 knots to a confined landing zone while maintaining a level body position. This maneuver showcased the helicopter's agility and stability in challenging landing conditions. Defiant's impressive speed of 247 knots marks a significant milestone for the helicopter's development and demonstrates its potential to surpass the speed requirements for the FLIRA program. It's attributed to its unique coaxial rotor configuration and pusher propeller design that provides additional thrust, further enhancing speed and range. The history of Bell Helicopter is a story of innovation and aviation excellence spanning over eight decades. From humble beginnings in 1935 in a small shed in Buffalo, New York, 
to becoming a global leader in helicopter design and manufacturing. Bell Helicopter has continued to push the boundaries of helicopter technology throughout its history. The company has developed a wide range of innovative helicopters, including the Bell 429, a versatile light twin helicopter, and the Bell V280 Valor, a tilt rotor aircraft designed for the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program. The Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey is a tilt rotor aircraft that combines the vertical takeoff, hover and vertical landing qualities of a helicopter with the long range, fuel efficient forward flight characteristics of a turboprop aircraft. This unique combination of capabilities makes the V-22 a versatile and capable platform for a wide range of military and civilian applications. It has a tilt rotor design, which allows it to take off and land vertically, hover, and fly forward like a conventional airplane. This versatility makes it suitable for operations from various locations including land, ships, and even confined spaces. The Osprey can achieve speeds of over 275 knots, making it significantly faster than conventional helicopters. It has a range of over 1,125 nautical miles, allowing it to travel long distances without refueling. This range is essential for missions that require extended time in the air, such as search and rescue or long-range troop transport. The Bell V-280 Valor is a tilt rotor aircraft designed for the United States Army's future long-range assault aircraft program. It is designed to be a multi-role platform that can perform a variety of missions, including troop transport, attack, and medical evacuation. The V-280 has several advantages over the V-22 Osprey, the current tilt rotor aircraft used by the Army. It is faster, more efficient, and has a smaller footprint, making deploying and operating from various locations easier. In 2022, the Army selected the V-280 Valor as the winner of the FLIRA program. The Army plans to purchase up to 300 V-280s to replace its Black Hawk helicopters. The initial testing phase for the V-280 focuses on assessing the aircraft's basic flight characteristics, including stability, controllability, and response to pilot inputs. Testing progresses to expand its performance envelope as the aircraft demonstrates proficiency in basic operations. Pilots and military personnel provide detailed feedback on the aircraft's handling characteristics, performance, and suitability for various missions. The V-280's performance is compared to existing and competing aircraft to evaluate its relative strengths and weaknesses. The evolving demands of modern warfare and technological advancements drive the need for upgraded aircraft and helicopters. Advances in testing processes, such as the use of simulation and data analytics, are also playing a crucial role in the development of upgraded aircraft and helicopters. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel 
so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.